Thank you very much. First of all, let me say again how terrific it is to see Brad here, having moved from the bench behind me to the table in front of me, and having moved on to become a husband and a father and the leader of a very significant uh, organization in uh, Nevada. Um, so it's welcome. It's terrific to see you here. Um, the question that I have for both of you relates to next-gen nuclear technologies. As you both know, I've been heavily involved in the bipartisan nuclear compromises that have emerged from this uh, committee to change NRC procedures. So, uh, as you mentioned, Ms. Capito, the um, Tesla no longer has to clear carburetor inspection on its way to uh, approval um, and to create more opportunities for integration between the NRC and academia and the private sector, again with a view to help develop those next generation technologies. And one of my motivations for participating in those efforts with my colleagues in this committee has been the sense that those technologies provide the prospect, at least, of addressing some of the nuclear waste that is now being stored in facilities around the country, that it could actually become fuel. And in fact, that is the intention of a considerable number of the private uh, innovators who are operating in this space. So what I would like uh, from each of you is some assurance that as these new innovative nuclear technologies get developed, you will make sure that there is a lane for inquiry and innovation regarding taking advantage of spent fuel. My concern is that if spent fuel costs a nickel more than new nuclear fuel, that will create an economic disincentive that will drive all of the innovation towards new nuclear fuel and will starve the real prospect that we could actually get new clean power out of existing spent fuel. So we don't want to be in that position. I don't want to have it be exclusively dedicated to spent fuel. Um, I think there are determinations that are important for the NRC to make along those lines, but I certainly don't want to see saving that nickel to be the thing that drives us completely away from the opportunities that these next generation nuclear technologies create for beginning in some fashion to deal with these spent fuel stockpiles. So, um, Ms. Capito, is it Cap Cap Caputo? I just want to, it can be pronounced both ways. Caputo. We've had to be careful about that over the years. What, what are the odds uh, that we would have a ranking member Capito and a, a cont nominee Caputo? What are the odds Carol, of that? To both respond to that uh, concern of mine. Uh, Senator, I, I understand your interest in, the tech, tech, in, um, in technologies that may have that capability. Uh, that's a great potential. There's been, I think, historically, a lot of research into technologies like that, and some of these vendors you know, I think are looking at how to capitalize on that historic knowledge um, and try to turn it in an innovative direction. Um, I think the challenge for the agency will be um, for those technologies, they would tend to be, I think, somewhat different than what we think of as a reactor design and a reactor review. It would fall more into our fuel facilities sector of the agency. Uh, because there would be some sort of probably a processing step to prepare fuel. It would be fabricated. The nature of the fuel would be somewhat different. All of that would require reviews. But certainly if technologies, um, if vendors are interested in pursuing that, um, then there will be encouragement for doing pre-application reviews with the agency to understand the nature of the technologies that are coming forward and to ensure that we have um, resources budgeted to adequately review those, um, that personnel are trained to understand the technology and be prepared when those applications arrive. 
Well, I take out of that there will be encouragement, resources, and personnel, and thank you. Uh, thank you, Senator, and, and I'll agree with my, my colleague, uh, Ms. Caputo, who has deep experience at the commission, and if given the, if the honor to serve on the commission, this is one of the areas I'm most interested in delving into. Uh, we already have a nuclear waste uh, issue that needs to be resolved in this country, and if we can approach advanced reactor and new nuclear technologies in a way that helps mitigate or even uh, partially solve that issue, uh, that's very attractive, and it should be factored into that uh, nickel cost equation that you referenced. So uh, I look forward to working with you on these issues going forward. Thank you very much. My time has expired. Thank you, Chairman.